Choi and I work in the education department here at Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park and I'm excited to have you join me at the Orchid Wall where we are taking a closer look at the power of flowers. In particular, how flowers and their animal pollinators have co-evolved to result in some of the amazing diversity and complex relationships we see in nature. Now, when we take a look at flowers and their animal pollinators and their co-evolution, both can benefit from this process. The flowers benefit by attracting a specific animal pollinator and those animal pollinators can benefit in numerous ways, sometimes by getting food resources or even with some bees, they actually get fragrances from orchids that they use during courtship. Next to me, you can see a number of orchids that are currently in bloom. However, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes to take a look at one of the orchids in our collection that's not in bloom right now, but is a great example of coevolution between flowers and their animal pollinators, whose story goes all the way back to the time of Charles Darwin. Right now, we're standing in the greenhouse where we care for the thousands of orchids that are in Meyer Gardens collection. When they're not in bloom, this is where they receive care all year round. Right here, I have a collection of a special type of orchid, Darwin's star orchid, that is another amazing example of coevolution. When in bloom, you'll see that this orchid has a foot-long spur with a nectary at the base. Now, this orchid was observed by Charles Darwin in 1862, and at that time, he hypothesized that there must be a pollinator, a moth with a proboscis, long enough to access that nectary, even though no moth was known to exist at that time. In 1903, Charles Darwin was shown to be correct with the discovery of a moth with a proboscis long enough to access that nectary, and it was observed pollinating this orchid. Darwin's star orchid is another great example of the coevolution between flowers and their animal pollinators, and the striking complexity and diversity that we see in nature.